you're probably on Facebook, and uh, I'm guessing that uh, people you know are on Facebook, even if you're not, and your favorite businesses are on Facebook. Your brands, if you will, and maybe you have a personal brand on Facebook. Uh, you know, I've got a personal brand on Facebook. I have that tied into my personal page at this point, uh, but we have a few Facebook brand page tips and tricks. Just because you have a page on Facebook doesn't mean the world's going to come beating a path to your door, and even if you have an insane amount of likes to your page, that doesn't mean anything. Without engagement, numbers don't mean squat. I don't care how many followers you have, how many likes you have, how many subscribers you have, how many of those are paying attention? How many of those are engaging you? Did you realize that they released a study suggesting that a fraction of people who like a brand on Facebook actually engage with them? What's the point? I mean, yes, you can say you like something, but where is the action? Do you really care about the things that you like on Facebook? And as a brand, if you're building something there, you gotta keep this in mind. Are you spending way too much time and attention cultivating your brand on Facebook when you should be spending time and attention cultivating your brand on its own? Facebook's just there to support your community. It's not there for the community, to build the community. It's there as a part of it. It's not the end all be all, folks. Uh, and certainly I would never recommend uh, putting all your social media eggs in one basket. So we've outlined a few tips and tricks uh, to help you better engage your community tied into a brand on Facebook, assuming you have one. I'm going, to, I, I'm going to go ahead and like this on Facebook so that you know the people who are in my community will see it. I'm going to plus one on Google Plus as well and tweet it. Brian Miner, Stacey Ferris, Skyler Johnson, Sean Jordan, and Jennifer T. also publicly plus one it. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's really a matter of time and resources. And are you spending too much in a place that just isn't gaining you any traction. Facebook, if, if you learn nothing else from this video or in the article that we linked in the description to help you, um, Facebook's really good at driving up engagement on Facebook. But going off-site, it always seems to be a challenge and a half. People who are on Facebook tend to like staying on Facebook. So even if you publish a link on Facebook, getting them to click it and look, if it's not on Facebook already, yeah, Facebook doesn't make it easy to facilitate that. It's not a part of the culture of Facebook to send you off-site. Facebook's trying to be the internet more than Microsoft was trying to be the internet years ago. Few people un miss, or I should say, few people understand this. There's a lot of misconceptions around it. But if you have a business, yes, I say have a presence on Facebook, but keep it in perspective, folks. It's just one small piece of the pie. Facebook's big. But your engagement is what matters. Forget the numbers. You would rather have 50% of 300 followers engaging with you than 0.3% of 3,000. You want that to be in parity or as close to parity as possible. And there's so much to pay attention to these days, it's impossible to know where to spend your time and attention. But keep that in mind. We've outlined further tips and tricks to maximize the time that you spend on Facebook, either as a user or as someone who's helping a brand or a business engage their clients, customers, community using Facebook. Take a look. If we've missed any suggestions, feel free to leave them.